we're approaching this and we're not really even having the conversation, the true conversation, which is the question that everyone is going to ask. How are you going to address the fact that the fifth member, the biggest artist in the world mm -hmm. ever, he's not here? How are we going to address that fact, honestly? I think it's something that needed to be said because it's going to be a question that everybody wants to know about, you know, what do you do without Michael? Well, I'll tell you, he's here in spirit. He, he is here. And the fact that we just got through jamming on something, his spirit is very much in this room. He's right here. And this is what he was. Right there. Yeah. We always take him in the studio with us. Yeah. Whenever we're in the studio, so. He's here now. He loves this. This is what he does. That was very important for, for us to tell them that because a lot of people are concerned about that, but they don't know the Jacksons, you know. Especially when Michael's passing like that, we don't always carry that spirit in the room with us wherever we go. He never dies. Michael's always around. I thought the brother's answer was spiritually sound. The honest, actual answer is there's no way to replace Michael. Not in a hologram, not in a car, not in your heart. We can't go backwards. Things will never be the same as they were. Whatever the normal that we create from here will become the new Jackson normal. For the brothers, I think it's gonna be baby steps. They have to find their own way amongst themselves, amongst the four of them. Uh, I pray that they all get it together individually so that collectively they become a strong unit. They have to figure that out on their own.